Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Makana Man at YouTube with a, a bit of a rarer Airfix 76 scale armor kit. The M113 fire support version with Australian decals in the older grey box, slowly uh, thinning out of stock. And the JB models a mob that uh, bought some of the tooling and molds to do a few runs when Airfix was uh, liquidating not long ago. The same kit, but also had the, the tooling for the original M113 without the turrets and modifications. It's uh, something you don't see on the market, so I'm choosing to build both of them at the same time. Please enjoy! Quick background information as this is an unusual uh, model to my repertoire. This is a Vietnam era um, United States armor troop carrier, though it was made out of very thin sheets of aluminium for speed. Uh, you could imagine the AK 47 can penetrate this, and it was practically a coffin on wheels. Many efforts were made to modify it by welding checker plate to the side, which, mind you, is an amazing idea for a modification. And the Australians had these uh, leftover massive turrets and whammed them on top, which caused the body to buckle and leading to many variations and modifications. This is uh, most likely one of the more effective uh, models that uh, served during that war. As always, everything expected from Airfix, uh, the newer box being paint chips for the Humbrew range, affordable under the $10 mark. You get four runners, uh, your rubber tracks, decals, very big A4 instructions, and a detailed uh, colour scheme. This kit started off a little uh, differently to other ones, straight with the turrets and these uh, smoke launchers are very small and very very fiddly, uh, quite difficult to put together. Uh, straight into the turret which had some uh, gaps, bits and pieces, the aerials are a bit thick but not too bad. Uh, some flash, uh, a lot of faults, it is an oldish uh, vintage. The hull and uh, wheels and tracks came together wonderfully. I love the tracks to be uh, moulded with the wheels. Very, very easy. No second thoughts. Does uh, crunk right together though. A bit fiddly with uh, fitting and again some seam lines. This stage uh, came close to the same difficulty as uh, the turrets are putting it together and fitting it just right. The instructions was not 100% clear though a bit of test fitting and mucking around you will get an idea. Uh, between the side of the armour and the uh, mud guards uh, for the tracks is going to have a horrendously bad uh, seam line. That one 100% most definitely need to be filled as uh, at the rear as well. The doors and other pieces just bung straight into place extremely easily and you've got a done tank. As an old vintage kit, I like it. As a modern uh, representation of what it was like uh, during the day is a bit faulty and funky, though definitely open for modifications and playing around as I'm not aware of um, other kits out there of this uh, particular subject. Uh, definitely a very fun uh, play for all sorts of funky uh, modifications and uh, prototypes out there including the failed experiments. Now it gets pretty easy. Sanding, primer, acrylic paint, uh, matching the colours very easy, just the same as uh, Sherman. Uh, touch up of uh, gunmetal and a lighter brown for the turret bit, uh, smoke launchers, whatnot. The decals aren't too bad. Uh, not too much problem, tiny bit of ink, uh, weathering if you desire, and I'm quite pleased. Let's have a look at the far more rare JB release of the non-fire support US markings. Within Airfix uh, politics, and there's a very good uh, biography of the uh, company called uh, The Boy's Guide to uh, Airfix, 
It has a few times uh, gone bankrupt, uh, fallen into the bank's hands, uh, bought by other manufacturers. Uh, the second uh, last one, which was uh, Humbrol, also went uh, bankrupt and uh, had a uh, helio on board and whatnot. When it got carved up and sold off, moulds and bits of the company went uh, all over the place and there's been all sorts of uh, conflicts and uh, kits that will never see the light of day again and moulds that are completely uh, lost. Uh, Hornby has uh, picked it up but between then I assume they rented out the moulds because this JB company was uh, pumping out a few of these uh, very old uh, toolings and had this little extra easter egg of the older hutch from just the regular um, non fire support version which we'll build. We can see the run is here uh, there is no gap in uh, the top left hand corner that's the original one I've got a spare uh, fire support hull now. The plastic and the uh, shape of the runner ends is uh, very similar to Wargaming grade styrene that you see in the um, Citadel Warhammer range of uh, models and not quite uh, the same as the FX one yet the tooling of the kit is exactly the same and it had the same advantages and uh, disadvantages the uh, turret runner was not used whatsoever sadly as super rare as this uh, tooling is uh, and the chances of it being available again is practically non-existent it has virtually no value as a collectible and the swap and sell was just passing it off for five bucks and someone else selling air fix kits that are current at closer to ten dollars. Go figure. Nonetheless I'm really glad to have these two side by side for display. My only biggest complaint about the JB version which is practically identical to Airfix is the decals. They were yellowed garbaged, took a lot of effort to clean up and even applied to the model, silvered a bit and had way too much uh, decal overhang, though reproducing this sort of thing, particularly a while ago for a very small company, can be fairly uh, difficult, I shall let them get away with it. I gave uh, this kit the exact same uh, treatment as the fire support uh, version, Prime, paints with the same Tamir paint, uh, decal, clear coat, ink and whatnot, with a identical finish for the two to be displayed together. Even though by far this was not the most uh, fun 76 small scale tank I've built, it definitely was a treat to build a more obscure uh, vehicle uh, from the Vietnam period which not too many were uh, used due to the uh, conditions of uh, the terrain and the war though also to be paired up with its earlier tooling counterparts uh, a very rare treat uh, this is probably the first time that uh, this uh, particular version of the kit has uh, been made uh, public in a little while if it has done so before if not definitely its first appearance on YouTube but with where the company is heading under Hornby at the moment who knows where the future of FX lies and what uh, new kits they will build from scratch or retool from their current catalogue thank you very much for watching this uh, definitely will be a fantastic um, asset to my collection and here's a bit of a lineup of the previous other tanks I've uh, built and an idea in size and scale of their standing among each other. Catch you guys later.